Hi there, GPO here, and welcome back to my FTB Sky Adventures Pop Pack. Last episode, we went and complete that right there, the Runix Matrix right here, which is quite good. And between episodes, I went and got a bit more theories and completed all the quests. Unfortunately, I'm been smelting quite a lot of like essences, and this happened. This little thing, which you can ow, yeah, it hurts a bit, and you can see it looks. It looks quite cool, honestly. But basically, what this is is that is a bad thing. And if I show you the mirror, if I shift right here, you can see there's like two bars of here. Uh, there's like two bars here. One is like a letter purple, and then one is a darker purple. And the darker purple is the bad stuff, which you can see it in the sanity checker right here as well. There's some bad stuff here. And if there's like too much bad stuff, or like the the dark purple stuff in the environment, it will create this thing. I think it's called flux. I even a lot here as well, like right here. It says that if I if flux overflow would be very interesting, and it says no, don't let the let the flux build. It's very bad, very very bad. And then here space, and then I need to be more careful. I did, I I thought that I was a lot more careful already, but I still managed to do this. Unfortunately, I can't really remove it as at all. You can't even use a pickaxe for this, like this. You, there's no way to close it. Well, manually, of course. But here it says that the flux width, you can see, I can't really do anything. Of course, we can close this, uh, but it is only achievable through here. I think it's one of the crafting steps in Infusion. I think it's called a collapser. It's called this thing, the causality collapser. If you use this and throw it into this thing, you can uh, remove this thing. But unfortunately, I can't do this yet, so I can only let it stay here. But if there's another way to close this, is and then it's by uh, removing all the purple stuff here. If some of you guys have seen clearly, uh, some of the purple stuff have decreased even more since I started talking. I think previously it's like 15 point something, now it's 13.1. Ah uh, yeah, you can see it, it decreased as well. Basically, when it drains all of the like purple, dark purple stuff in the surrounding eight chunks, and then this tier will disappear by itself. That is like the normal way of how you close it. Of course, you can make this bigger as well if you keep on putting even more of the dark purple stuff. Whereas honestly, I don't recommend that. I only recommend it when you do much more things in form graph. But we aren't doing that yet, and hopefully, it doesn't really do much. Oh yeah, you can see it's it's it start growing again. It will slowly but surely start growing a lot more if there's a lot of the purple stuff in the environment. I think I can show you here, right, right here. Like in different chunks, there's like different things. Like here's a lot more, and this has a lot less because it's been draining off it from the environment. Eventually, it will close, and it also breaks the surrounding blocks around it. And that's why I can't put any blocks. I think I can show it right here. If I put the block right here, it will break it. And you won't get it back, so that's unfortunate. So yeah, I did got a few more theories up and running. So now I think we can start off this already. Yeah, we got the theories right here. And let's see, I need an axe, a sword, a pickaxe, a hoe, and a shovel. So I can get that quite easily. And honestly, I have to say, this sounds is quite cool. It's like I kind of space feeling to it. Which I quite like. So before anything, I need a sword. I need a sword. I need an axe. I need a pickaxe. I need a shovel, and I need a hoe. All five of them. Wonderful. And there we go. And that's one of the unlocks that I need because I do need this. The reason why we need me made all of them is because oh my god, what the hell is happening? Yeah. We made all of them is because all of them are required for every different type of tool here. And all of these tools are actually quite useful. The access to stream is basically like uh one of the things, what is it called? Uh lumber X is basically like the lumber lumber X from uh Tinkers. Basically chops down the whole tree in one go. And then uh the sword of the Zephyr uh right here. It basically, when I strike it, it will be a white animation. It's like a sweeping effect, and then if blocking, uh, it will 
prevent things from hitting me. And then the pickaxe also cool is that I have a chance to mine a cluster, and it's also very good for mining. And then the shuffle, actually, what does the shuffle even do? I don't know. What does the shuffle do? Uh, oh, it, it mines in the 3x3 three three area, and then orienting. And for me, the most useful thing from all of these five is maybe the hole, because you can grow them. You can kill blocks, and then you can even use it as sperm to grow all of them. And this is also useful as well. But the thing we want to do is to make this. And that requires rare earths. And actually, can you even get rare earth? How do you even get that? That doesn't show up. Well, then, how in the world am I supposed to get that then? Um, maybe here? I don't have enough theory though. Which, that is unfortunate. So let me put some things away again, and let me teach you this. Where does rare earth came from? I seriously have no idea. But let's see, can I do some other stuff then? How about you? Uh, this requires... I need to make this. This requires control seal use. This requires bioformic mod, so it's you. I can do you. Yeah, good. And then I can unlock you, which requires more theory, but we are almost there. How about this? Well, that's not how to make any under the nighter. How are you doing? Oh, I think we have almost used all of them. Good. So that means this can close now, almost. If I look at this correctly, I think it went, it became smaller already, right? I think. Uh, yeah, it's almost done. So, let's see, should I research more theory? It shouldn't take too long though, right? Oh, I read a paper, my bad. Paper. Right here. Eldrick, no, I do want that. Instrumentium and Motus. Instrumentium and Motus, where is it? Here. Right here, and then universal theory. Yeah, I don't want this. It's motors and mortars. So I got motors, I also got mortars. Okay, good. And then this, and then um, maybe you. Bestia and metallium. I do have that as well. Bestia and the metal, which I have the most of all of them. And then more alchemy, and I need an empty map, which I never did make one, but that is easy to do. I just need a compass, which did I never make one of them? Well, I have to say that is unexpected. I thought I have I've made that before, and I need redstone, and I need paper. Two, three, four. What's this? Huh. What's that from? Oh, our uh, agriculture tab. Well, that's our compass. And here's our map. And how are we doing? I think it should be almost done, right? Well, I think. I think I scanned all the things in my inventory already, right? Yeah, most of the stuff. So, what do I need? Oh yeah, I need to do you, you, and you. There we go. Is that enough theory? No, that, I need the golem massive theory, not you. Uh, maybe I can unlock you as well. Uh, I don't think I see anything that is saying about rare, rare herbs. Unfortunately, Oh, minor. Ah, yeah, this is the bad thing about this. Basically, everything you research from here, you unlock more of the, like, more forbidden stuff, I would say. This is one of the forbidden stuff. It's only a, a minor one, so it doesn't do too much. And I think this is closing, right? Well, I think it is slowly but surely. So, yeah, should I do something with it? 
or do something else. Uh, well, I can do this. What? Fire is the key, normal projectile. Uh, don't really need it. Fictium, nope. Fizz omelette, nope. Focus pouch, why not? How about this? Alchemy, can't really do much. Artifacts, oh yeah, there's a lot of different, like, useful stuff in here. I think for me, the most useful stuff in here is maybe this, the lamp of growth. It makes you grow stuff a lot more quicker and, wait. Oh yeah, this is a bad buff. I don't remember what does this buff do, but I know that it's bad. I got this, it's because of me getting too near of this flux rift. So, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was going to do some more research about it. Infusion enchantments. Uh, some more things, no. The only thing I want to look for is rare earths, and yeah, everything requires that as well. But it doesn't tell me how in the world am I supposed to get that? Where does it even tell me that? No. Mm. It, doesn't, it doesn't really tell me anything about that. Huh. Uh, not this. Not this, not this, not this. Where does it tell me about that, huh? Oh, okay. Hmm, I think I may need to do some research about that then. So I think I'm gonna come back in a bit and research how in the world am I supposed to get this thing, the rare, the rare earths. So yeah, I'll come back in a bit. And let's see what how do I get that then. Welcome back. And I realize how do I get rare earth metals. It doesn't really say that I will only just went online to when I search for it for a bit. And I realize you have a chance of getting rare earth metals if you break certain ores like coal ore, coarse ores, diamond ores, and amber ores. The high chance being diamond ores. You will have a I think it's yeah, you will have the a highest amount of chance of getting rare earths if you mine diamond ore and then second is amber ore and that's why I mine of them and I got 24 of them which is quite wonderful. And I also get some preserved curiosity from mining amber ores which unfortunately amber ore doesn't have an EMC value so these are quite useful basically what it does uh, if I press right click I can gain some knowledge any kind of knowledge, theories or like, I can gain theories or like observations as well for all of them. So I just use all of them, just like this. And you can see, I got a, a ridiculous amount of knowledge. And if I look right here, you can see, I've got a lot more theory now. And I should have done this a lot time, a long time ago. And why in the world did I get so much alchemy theory compared to all the rest of them? That is interesting. <laughs> I'll go 15 of these and then... The others, I only got a few of them. Oh well. At least I don't need to worry about not having enough of them. So yeah, and, and I also move myself up over here because I don't want to contaminate this anymore because I want to get rid of this tier in here. So I move all of them into one single chunk, but different chunks and stuff. So it will be a bit better. And because I need to craft this thing, and oh. I didn't know I didn't scan it yet. Cool. Yeah, and because when I craft, when I'm going to craft things, it will uh, draw all of the required essences from the surrounding. And I'm, I'm thinking that if I put it too far away, it can't do its stuff. So that's what I did. So let us see. If we want to craft this little thingy, we will need the sword, two earth crystals, grid plank, and rare earth. Okay, that's not a problem. So we can put rare earth right here. I need my sword back. So I put it right in the middle. And then I need some air crystal and some great wood plank. So I'll just do it right here. It would be much safer if you were to do it like directly opposite of each other. So I need some air crystals, which I get from right here. And then, of course, I also this time I actually do need my gauntlet to activate this. So we need one here and one here, and that is the recipe. 
But of course, we need something else, which is the essences. We need all three of them. And you can see the instability is negligible. That means it's quite safe to craft this. So we need 30 motors, 30 FSO, and 30 air. Okay, what do I have? This I do have. I already got the sword elements and I got the air elements. I'm only missing one. And uh, which one am I missing? I've gotten already. Oh, I'm missing motors. Motors. What does what things gives motors? Uh let's see. What kind of things actually gives that stuff better? Uh plastic. Uh yeah, I can do plastic. Plastic. Uh I don't get too much of it. There we go. And let me speed up the process and then you can see I've gotten a lot more of the purple stuff. I didn't know that if I speed up like this, it would generate a lot more purple stuff. And I wonder, did it spread here? Um, a little bit got spread. Yeah, you can see it's increasing slowly but surely. So it will get absorbed into here again. And hopefully, I'm hoping that I can sooner later like, close the gap on myself manually. So I think that's it. Good. So I have enough for all of the elements now, so that's wonderful. And what I need to do now is to right click it with the gun and poof! You can hear a sound, that means it start crafting it. And what it needs to do is to absorb the elements and I think I am placed this a bit too far away. So I shall get the elements a bit more closer. I'll put it right here, one, two and three. Yeah, now it's working because it plays too far away. So it does have a sound, but it's not actually working. If you know it's actually working, you can see by the particle code effects. What it's doing now that is that it's getting the elements. As you can see here, it's absorbing all the elements from the jars. And after it absorbs the elements, it will absorb the items from here as well. And there we go. You can see it's absorbing all the elements around here. And as long as this is stable, it will be no problem. And there we go, it's complete. So now we got a sort of sever, and it's quite cool. You can see if I right click this, I can fly up in the world. Whee! And then if you remove it, you can fall back on the ground. And then. I should get a repair talisman, huh? Good, it's repairing it. Good, wonderful. Because I don't know if if it will accept it if it's damaged, but we can try. Oh no, it doesn't. Good. In that case, all of these things are craftable. Wait, can I craft the arcane battles though? I didn't check. That is one of the things in you. Right. Oh, it's you. I need to unlock you first. I forgot about that. So unfortunately, I need to visit the Nether. I must fix it later because it requires me to finish it a hellish place. But that is not a problem. At this point, we can do anything quite easily. So I'll just put my portal right here. Because I don't really care where is the portal being placed. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there we go. And let the portal up. And let's quickly go there and back. And ta-da! Yeah, I fixed the nether. And that is why I didn't want to fix it here. Because there's literally nothing here at all. Nothing. Literally. At least in well, I guess there's I guess there's nether fortress. That counts as one thing. But if you do it earlier on, it's annoying that you can't really do much because you can't fly at all. You just fly around, blah blah blah. blah. That so now we need a blaze rod, 
I think it's, I mean, we need that brick, right? And what else do we need? Obsidian. Okay. Obsidian. And there we go. And then we can unlock this. Wonderful. And then this as well. Oh, I need air crystal. Air crystal. Not a problem. So there's another one complete. Good. So, well, that is very easy to make. That is so simple. I just need leather planks. Uh, what else? And a piece of iron. There we go. Here, here, and here. And there's our arcane bellows. Which it has an EMC as well. And I can summit it through here as well. Hey hey. I can summit all of these later on, but I will at least want to complete this as well. The control seal harvest. Which is from right here. I yeah, I go record the theory. Wonderful. And this requires even more theory of Golomancy. Ah, annoying. In that case, I shall do some researching. Uh, air and Precancio. Air Precancio. Air. Come on. Give me Golomancy. No Golomancy. Uh, no Golomancy. Hmm, Golomancy. Wait, is this more? Uh... Yeah, this is much better. Golomancy? Nope. Uh, no Golomancy. But I do get this official. Yeah, I should get one of them. Right here. Oop. Ready. And Golomancy. Yay, I got one. So now, I can unlock you. Good. So what does it need? Ooh, a lot of stuff. But we need this first, the black seal, which is uh rose red magic tallow clay and light ore. Okay, in that case. Wait, what? What happened? I don't know what happened, but but that's cool. So let me put some things away for now. Same with you. I will need torch. Uh a piece of coal. And a piece of glowstone to make. Ow, I know. Ah, who cares about now? Here, here, here. Oh, wait, I understand what happens. It must be consumed by that, right? Because I need to tell that this does get consumed. By st some stuff and things. Uh, let's see. I got my head. I need you. Good. And then there's not enough torches. And I need you and you. There we go. And then remove you. And of course, there's even more of the terrible stuff in the air again. Oh well. I won't really care about that too much for now, because what we want is to get the seal, which is red and clay, okay. Rose red and clay. There we go, and one, one, two, three, and four. There we go, we got three black seals, and now we should be able to craft this, the control seal harvest. Basically, what this does is that we can make different types of golems right here, where we can make them by ourselves using like different materials, as you can see right here. We can use clay, we can use brass, we can use wood, iron, and also formium, which every wood type has its own advantages and disadvantages using right here. Golem Mastery, I, we can make golems of all sorts of things. But this is, like I would call it like a more of a magical way to do it. But we don't need to do that. I just want to 
uh, make this for the quest line. So it, what does it require? It requires Santa's Humanus Herba. It requires a blank seal first of all. So blank seal, please. And let me scan you, of course. It requires the blank seal, and then I know that it requires seeds. It requires this, this. I don't know does it requires melon seeds though. I don't know that it requires this, this beetroot and seeds. That I do know. Let me see beetroot seeds. Yeah, pumpkin, melon, sugar cane, cactus. Okay, so I did got it right, and then I need sugar cane and cactus. And that's all. Now do this, 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 and this, and that's it. Make it look good. And then now I just need the essences. F. I will need Centus, Humanus, and Herba. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think yeah, I do have Herba, so that is not a problem. I just need uh Centus. Which is right here. Which, wow, that's 69 different items from it. Oh my god. That's a lot of items, I have to say. Ah, oh, this does have it. But that is a lot of elements. Is there something that gives a little less things, I guess? Hmm. Hmm. Well, CD does have it, though. Same with lapis. Oh, I do glowstone. I will, I will glow, glowstone then. Glowstone. Good. And then... I've forgotten what is the next thing, last thing I need. I need humanus. Okay. Hum humanus. I don't know. I think it's called humanus, right? Ah, I can just do rotten flesh. That should be the easiest way. Flesh. Well, I can just do one block of you, I guess. So now, I just need to wait for you to get processed. I think that's the limit, right? Here and here. Good. And the centers, I don't need the instrumentum. And, oh, it's given light. I don't need that. I just want the flesh. So, give it all. Hopefully I don't get another tier and stuff. That would be quite terrible. Yeah, that's the one I need. Humanus. Go. And light. Here. And then I will need it right here. So I have I should have everything I require. And also if you want to craft anything uh, with the runic matrix, you should always prepare more essences or like more sets of materials that you require because as this re be requires more and more dangerous. For example, um, which one should I show as an example? Uh, maybe not you. You? No. Yeah, maybe you. This one. Uh, not this one. It doesn't show. Is there anything that shows the difficulty of it? Maybe you. This. Uh, no. This. This. Uh, is there anything that shows the difficulty of it? Maybe here. Uh, no, these are all knowledgeable. They aren't hard to make. How about this? Yeah, you can see, it becomes moderate. That means it will have a higher chance of things getting bad. One of the things getting bad is like, sometimes maybe the items will get destroyed. Like the surrounding items, not the middle one. The middle one is safe. The surrounding items getting destroyed. Uh, some bad things coming from the environment and stuff. And maybe you require even more of the essences right here. So that is what the instability means. And of course you can make it more stable. There's different ways of making it more stable. One of the ways I think is by putting uh, torches or so I say candles around it. And the second way is for placing any type of mob skulls around the altar. At least also uh, by symmetry as well. I think that is another option, but because both of the class we, we require today doesn't require that. So we can just do this and you can also see here, it says very stable and then it becomes stable. 
and stable. Mm, yeah. At least it will also tell us that is it stable or not. But now it's saying unstable. So there's a chance of something going wrong. At least there's a chance of it. But hopefully there isn't. And good. And then it will become stable again. Boop. Or maybe not. But we got our control seal harvest now. So that's wonderful. And of course I can handle it for the quest line. Also, yay. And yeah, that's basically it for like most of my Fallcraft stuff. Of course I can do like more stuff with it as well. Like more of the fan stuff, which I would gladly like to play like with the most fan stuff which is using with all the flux and things. I don't want to play that. But if I want to play that, I need to uh, research more of these stuff, these like tainted stuff, which where is there any? Ah, there's some here. Ow! What the? What what in the world is this? I don't know what that is, but that looks looks cool. Ah, and honestly, that takes so much damage. Holy moly! You can see that damage. Goodness, that damage is ridiculous. And I wonder it's because I'm unlocking like different things and stuff. That's quite possible. I can also see how much tank that I am using this. I think it increased a bit more. I think I need to reach around half full with the sanity before I can lock like more of the forbidden stuff within Formcraft. I know that I've annoyed it is, is when there's an Eldritch tab right here, which I think I can unlock it if I can find more arcane stuff, right? Uh which one do I need? I will need the Arcane Fusion tab. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, this is the one, the Eldritch one. This is the one that I do want. And also some Arcane Infusion like this. Uh, I don't want to craft that for now. Is there anything that you can give me something more useful? No. Come on, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, infusion. I need more infusion. Finculum and white wool. Uh, that doesn't really give me too much, so I'll ignore that for now. Hey, that removes that. Uh, my bad. I didn't realize that it will remove it. So let me skip all of these stuff. Come on. Is it that hard to give me that? Uh, I need a piston again. I just want to see if I can unlock it. Nope. Mm, that's not what I want. I want infusion. And infusion only. So I need mortars and arrow. Do I have any mortars? What does mortars look like again? Oh, it's death. Okay. Death, death, death. I think. I have some of it. Why does it always rain when there's fun in the sky? Why? Oh, wait. I put my flask away. My files. Seriously? I don't have enough of that. Come on. There you go. And then I need an arrow. I think this grown a bit larger than before, right? Yes, it did, because I made even more of the terrible stuff. Huh? I should move my things away from here, I think. So, here. And, don't think I can do that. Uh, okay. I feel like it's getting more and more terrible now. Fake quest, fake quest, fake quest, fake quest. This, 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 quickly. Uh, yes. Some more. Yes. Wonderful. Yes, I think I can do it now. Right. 
Yeah, even more dark stuff. So, let's see. Yeah, I got a bit more. You can see there's like two different tiers of it for now. There's like a more darkish one and then a semi darkish one. The darkish one means that it's permanent, that I won't get rid of it. And then the more less darkish one, that means it's just uh, temporary for now. And it's telling me that I'm doing very bad things. Maybe. But, well, at least this will be the end of the episode for today. And next episode, I think... Yeah, I think... I don't think there's too much more things to do in this mod pack already. Maybe I will just complete, like, more of the miscellaneous tasks, and I never did any of the quantum storage at all. Like, literally. We only have, like, the food stuff left, and some dragon stuff. And, oh yeah, also bees. Totally forgot about that. So yeah, maybe next episode we shall do some bees. And there's a lot of things to do, honestly. A lot of breathing. Maybe I won't do everything. Because, well, you know, maybe. Well, de well, well, well it depends. But yeah, for now, thank you for watching my episode. And if you enjoy, you can consider subscribing. And goodbye. Bye.